What is up guys? Welcome back to the show and we are diving back into more bourbon barrel aged beer. A lot of you are kind of complaining. Why do you keep aging your beers? Well guys, some of these beers are six, seven, eight years old. They're in my cellar. What am I going to do with them? I've got to review them for you guys. So this one, not as old, but one of the better bourbon barrel aged beers I've ever had at the time. Coming from Founders out of Grand Rapids, it's gonna be the KBS Ma Maple Mackinac Fudge. So this was a crowd favorite. Everybody really enjoyed this one. It's clocking in at 11% ABV. It was bottled on 10, 14, 20. So nearly four years old. I have not had good luck with my aged bourbon barrel aged beers. Seems like after two, three years, I don't love them anymore. I feel like two years is like a good sweet spot. Uh, going forward, I will like to refrigerate my beers. Like, yes, I feel like you can age them. They just need to be kind of chilled. The degradation process slows down quite a bit if it is chilled. This is quite cold though for being in my basement. It's not like it's very warm, but it's, it's not cold. It's not cold, cold. It's got a little tiny bit of chill to it. Uh, it's very humid today. I don't know why I keep picking the hottest days of the year to review bourbon barrel aged beer, but I have a few spare moments, so let's do it, guys. Uh, yeah, I think we should just dive in. I was gonna read it, but I don't think I should. It's just, it's, it's awesome. An Imperial Stout with Mackinac Fudge, coffee, maple syrup, and chocolate aged in oak bourbon barrels. So again, this was a crowd favorite. Will it be good or am I just going to swing and miss once again? Degradation taking over. We will find out. So a little bit of smoke off the top. It's a dark brown uh, slick oil that's going into the glass. And look at that beautiful head retention. That's incredible. Look at that beauty. Uh, what I've noticed, these beers, they're good at first. When I first pop them, thank you. Noisy. When I first pop them, they have the reminiscent qualities of what is on the label and then the degradation sets in. Again, I call it encapsulating a flavor and then it no longer is there once the beverage aerates and it opens up. So, is this going to be good? I don't know. Uh, I, do, I hate that these were such awesome beers at the time. Uh, when I first reviewed them, I loved this beer again, but after four years, I don't know guys. Really pushing the waters here, so let's get a nose. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. Beautiful, beautiful fudgy chocolate ganache notes. Really nice, uh, just a touch of coffee, but the it smells, just, it smells like straight up dessert. It smells like a Sanders Bumpy Cake. Will it stay? I don't know. You know, it smells sweet, it smells chocolatey and fudgy. There's chocolate milk. Again, rich, roasted, dark, chocolatey ganache. It just smells fantastic. It smells so fudgy. It's really hard to believe how good it smells off the pop. Again, this is almost four years old. Will it really smell, or will it taste as good as it smells? I don't know. I'm sticking with it though. I mean, there's, yeah, I forget. There's maple syrup, there's more of the sweetness. So again, there's like this vanilla syrupy sweetness that comes into play as well. Uh, it's maple syrup playing into the barrel. It's, it's just chocolatey sweetness. And it's not, it's not bad the more I smell it. I mean, it's, it's opening up a little bit. Small hidden notes of coffee. Guys, I'm gonna dive in. I'm gonna hope this is good. I really want it to be. <sighs> Maple Mackinac Fudge KBS, cheers. Four years later. Back end isn't great. It's not great. I'm letting this open up because guys, what happens every time I start drinking these? It opens up and then I feel that yeasty degradation, that cardboard on the back end. I got a little bit of roasty, woody bitterness on the back end. That's usually the prelude to it opening up and becoming worse, but hold on, hold on. It's not as bad as some of my other ones. So the, the fudgy, chocolatey richness, that ganache thing, not really too apparent in the taste. I will say this is one of the better versions I've had of KBS straight up. The fudgy quality that it was giving on the nose in the chocolate milk and the sweet, the, the sweet chocolatey baker's chocolates, those are kind of fading, but this is roasty. Um, KBS notoriously is a little bit thinner now. It's got good roast to it. It's got a little bit of char. It's, it's good, the front and middle are pretty good here, but that back end, it's kind of bitter, it's kind of woody, it's toothpicky, it's a little bit cardboardy.
and the more I drink it, again, it opens up that that fudgy chocolate richness is gone. It's dissipating fairly quickly, and then I'm left with that astringent, woody, cardboardy bitterness, that wet paper. I don't love it, uh, but this one amazing off the jump i mean the nose was incredible it smelled like it was completely fresh like i was back in 2020 and then again it opened up and we're left with that astringent bitterness on the back end it's really unfortunate guys it's this was one of the greatest kbs versions variants uh, by far it still has a good smell again but it's fading it's it's encapsulated it's opened up now it's kind of gone So again, do I recommend that you age your bourbon barrel aged beers? Yes, if it's cool enough. I just don't think, I don't think I had it in a cool enough setting. I just think that refrigeration is best for these, even though you can probably store them in the fridge forever, and then I think they will hold a lot longer. But when you leave them at room temperature, not room temperature, even colder, because my basement's cold. I love my house cold. My basement's really cold. It's not good enough, even in the darkness. So. I don't recommend you, you age your bourbon barrel aged beers for longer than two, three years. I just, that's my humble opinion, unless you're refrigerating them. So guys, again, not gonna rate it. The yeasty cardboard uh, mustiness is kicking in and I am not going to finish this beer, unfortunately. So guys, it was awesome from the jump. And once again, it failed me. So uh, until next time, cheers, pros, yamas. Drink good beer, drink fresh beer.